Welcome back. All right, quick video before uh, shutting her down for today. Um, also wanted to say for people who enjoy watching the, the videos from the meetups, uh, our next meetup will be in Chilliwack. So if you're going to be in the Chilliwack area on July the 15th, that's also my wedding anniversary. So what better thing to do on your wedding anniversary than play street hockey? Anyways, um, so... There's some interesting reporting that's out there regarding some some free agent stuff and some trade stuff. So first off, Shayna Goldman's the only one reporting that I can find so far on this. But she's saying that Tarasenko's headed to the Carolina Hurricanes. Now this might be held up a little bit because they're also trying to move money. Pesci's likely on his way out, so we'll see if there's a Pesci trade and then Tarasenko gets signed. But I think that's the plan. And of course, there's a team not far from me in Vancouver that likely would be very interested in Mr. Pesci, but they also don't have cap space. So we're right back where we were before free agent period opened. Uh, also, uh, and this is this is an interesting one to me. So this was kind of all over. I didn't report on it. Uh, that John Gibson reportedly had said that he will not play another game in Anaheim. That's it. I'm done. I demand a trade. I will not play another game for the Ducks. However... Uh, his agent has come out and said, and he has come out and denied that he said that. He is saying, no, that's that's not what's being said. And so this is this is where we're at right now with things between uh, the Ducks, Gibson, and media, right? So the media is reporting on things. Uh, and, and it's similar to, and it's not on the board, but Dabrinkit's agent has come out and said that uh, if there's not a trade that's being made, it's not him and, and Dabrinkit that have had the issue. It's Dorian not being able to make the trade that's been the issue. So, again, it is that, that, that time of year where rumors can get kind of kind of high. Gossip can, can go through the roof. Uh, I, I cannot see Gibson saying, I flat out refuse to report. I, I can't see it. I think that if he's not traded during the summer, he shows up at training camp and he plays for the Ducks. Just like if Carlson's not traded this summer, he shows up at training camp and he plays for the Sharks. I, I just can't see it with with these players, these veterans, uh, saying I, I refuse. Because it's it's just, it's it's not good. It, it's a bad look, it's bad PR, and, and I think most players want to play. I don't think they're going to want to sit out uh, because they don't want to play for a certain team anymore. We used to see a lot more of that, say, 25, 30 years ago, uh, but now with where contracts are, and just generally players don't, don't sit out when they have a contract. Uh, Will Butcher has signed a one-year deal with Pittsburgh for $775,000, and I've got that on the board because even though Butcher hasn't played in the NHL for some time, uh, it feels like it's not that long ago that Butcher was with the Devils, and he was having a really good year, and everything was, and now he's, uh, he's signing with Pittsburgh, he's a depth defenseman, very likely to play in the AHL, uh, for Wilkes-Barre, and yeah, I thought it was just an interesting signing out there. Uh, Janssen Fialbi has signed to stay in Winnipeg, so he went to market. Uh, signs a two-year deal to stay with Winnipeg at $775,000 per season. So again, league minimum. Uh, Janssen Fialbi, I thought, was a solid fourth-line option for Winnipeg after he arrived. And I'm glad to see that they re-signed him. I've actually been been impressed with what Winnipeg's done so far in the offseason. Obviously, there's a hell of a question still out there. The Shifley question still out there. And there's various others that you know may end up being on their way out of town. But it does feel like the Jets are doing a pretty good job of keeping a competitive team. And if they're not in the playoffs, they should be in the mix. Uh, and I, I really do think they'll end up being a playoff team this coming season. At least I hope so. Uh, I think the Jets uh, have had a, a, a decent run over the last five, six years. And so, yeah, uh, we'll see if that if that continues. Now, of course, playoff success has been elusive at points. But uh, I do like the team a lot. We'll see what happens with Hellebuck, what happens with Shifley, and what they get back. Maybe Gibson for Hellebuck. We'll throw that out there, right? Uh, Cap-wise, I think that works. And there you go. And then we'll see We'll see what other rumors come out of that after. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I'll just throw that out there. Uh, Harvey Pinard has signed a two-year extension with the Montreal Canadiens for $1.1 million per season. I love this signing. Harvey Pinard was very good for Montreal after he came up. I thought his play was fantastic. Uh, I'm a big fan of his. I think it's too bad they didn't keep Anthony Richard. I think with the last name Richard, he belongs in Montreal. But Harvey Pinard staying makes a lot of sense. And for them to to get him signed to a, a good cap hit, I think there's some upside there with Harvey Pinard offensively. We'll see how it turns out. But if, if that doesn't turn out to be the case, yeah, they're still in pretty good shape. Montreal's going to have, a, a, I think, a fun team to watch this year, and I think they're going to continue to build their way back towards playoffs, even though I, I can't see them being a playoff team this year. 
But again, it's about being fun to watch. I thought they were fun to watch this past season as well with uh, Marty St. Louis at the helm. And uh, yeah, uh, I think Harvey Pinard uh, could end up being a pretty solid third liner and maybe a little bit of top six upside again for the fact that Montreal is going through the rebuild right now. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.